How to holistically heal from hyperthyroidism. This video is going to have a ton of information, so feel free to save it for future reference. So hyperthyroidism, also referred to as an overactive thyroid, is a condition in which your thyroid gland is producing too much thyroid hormone. This results in an excess of T3 and T4, also known as triiodothyronine and thyroxine. This excess hormone can cause a plethora of symptoms, some of them being uh, weight loss, hand tremors, anxiety, indigestion, irregular heartbeat, and more. It can even share some symptoms with hypothyroidism at times, including insomnia, fatigue, and even hair loss. Healing holistically from hyperthyroidism requires taking an in-depth look as to why your thyroid is overactive to begin with. This is so important. If you're attempting to address your hyperthyroidism with mainstream medicine, which promotes the idea that you catch hyperthyroidism and you catch diseases, right, instead of developing them within your system, they might tell you that the following are the causes. Number one, we have Graves' disease, which is defined as an autoimmune condition in which the body mistakenly stimulates the thyroid to produce too much thyroid hormone. If your body is doing it, it's not a mistake. It's happening for a reason. Number two, we also have toxic multinodular goiter. This is when multiple nodules or lumps develop in the thyroid gland and independently produce excess thyroid hormone, eventually leading to hyperthyroidism. And then we have toxic adenoma, which is when a single nodule or lump develops in the thyroid gland and becomes overactive. The problem with looking at hyperthyroidism from this mainstream approach is that it in no way, shape, or form looks at the underlying causes as to why your thyroid is overactive to begin with. Please hear me loud and clear when I say you do not just catch lumps or nodules. You do not just catch Graves' disease. You do not just catch autoimmune conditions. These are developed within your system based off of a plethora of lifestyle choices. That is how you address this holistically. Hyperthyroidism can only occur in an overly acidic terrain in which your channels of elimination are not functioning optimally. This means that your body's lymphatic system, aka the super system, is essentially clogged and you have other glandular compromises which are preventing your body from being in a state of homeostasis where everything is running smoothly. Figuring out where those blockages and compromises are within your body is absolutely key. Two people can have hyperthyroidism, but the route in which they got there can be very different for both people. This is how my clients heal, not only from hyperthyroidism, but hypothyroidism and all these other medical diagnosis labels that people are given. My last client had absolutely no idea that her lymphatic system and her pituitary gland were severely compromised and were actually the root cause of her hyperthyroidism. When I figured this out, we were able to give her a structured, personalized protocol to help her address it. If she was just addressing her thyroid over and over again and trying to find herbs for the thyroid, this wouldn't have led to healing because she had underlying causes. The pituitary and the thyroid are both very key components of the endocrine system. They interact in a feedback loop to regulate thyroid hormone production. So for her, if she continued on oblivious to the fact that the pituitary was at the root cause and it was interacting with the thyroid, then she would have never known that this had to be addressed and she would have just been in this constant loop of trying to find ways to fix her thyroid. That's not how this works. Remember, the body is a whole system. I had a male client whose kidneys were not functioning optimally. So in addition to addressing his thyroid, we gave him a very personalized protocol for the kidneys. Not only do the kidneys play a major role in your body getting rid of excess toxicity, but they also assist in the clearance of thyroid hormones from the bloodstream. So I'm sure you can now see why it wasn't just about addressing his thyroid. In order for him to heal, we had to address his kidneys as well because his kidneys were affecting his thyroid's ability to function optimally. Figuring out which areas within your system are struggling is absolutely key. Mainstream medicine does not do a good job at looking at this at all. Once we know exactly what's going on, we know where the blockages are, you can then take a holistic approach, okay? You can use herbal medicine, you can use the right foods, which is gonna be a little bit different for every person, and you can take a mind, body, and soul holistic approach. That is how you heal. If you are interested in working with me on your healing journey, this is what I do for a living. I work 100% virtually, which allows me to be accessible to clients worldwide. You can click the link in my bio, select work with Eric on the front page to see my services and options. I also have a testimonials tab. Feel free to browse around. I'll be happy to help you. And remember, physical freedom is your birthright.